Who was Everest Galois and why should we care? Born on the 25th of October, 1811, in Bourg-la-Reine, near Paris, France, Galois was not your average child. His parents, Nicolas Gabriel Galois and Adelaide Marie de Mont, were both cultured and well-educated, steeped in philosophy, classical literature and religion. Yet, surprisingly, none of Galois' lineage showed any signs of mathematical prowess. His mother, Adelaide, served as his only teacher until he was 12 years old, imparting to him her knowledge of Greek, Latin and a healthy dose of skepticism. His father, Nicholas, held a prominent role in their community, serving as the elected mayor of bourg la reine in 1815. At that time, France was a hotbed of political upheaval with the monarchy of Louis XVI under significant threat. Raised in an era of political turmoil, young Galois was about to embark on an extraordinary journey. Imagine a world where numbers speak louder than words. This was the realm young Everest Galois found himself drawn into during his school years, a world where equations whispered secrets and theorems held the promise of uncharted territories. Galois's academic journey began with more than its fair share of struggles. His initial years were marked by a battle with rhetoric, a subject that seemed to resist his understanding, a stark contrast to his family's proficiency in philosophy and classical literature. His teachers noted a lack of effort and his grades reflected this struggle. In 1826, he was asked to repeat the year. His world, it seemed, was spinning off its axis. But then, in February of 1827, a turning point arrived. Galois enrolled in his first mathematics class under the tutelage of Hippolyte Vernier. It was as if a switch had been flipped. Numbers and equations suddenly became his allies, his confidants. Mathematics, it appeared, was the language Galois had been searching for, a language he spoke fluently and passionately. His newfound love for mathematics was not a quiet affair. It was an obsession that consumed him, a fire that burned brighter with each passing day. His teachers noted this change. His director of studies wrote, It is the passion for mathematics which dominates him. He is wasting his time here and does nothing but torment his teachers and overwhelm himself with punishments. His school reports began to paint a picture of a young man who was singular, bizarre and original. His obsession with numbers made him an anomaly, a puzzle that his teachers struggled to understand, but Galois was unfazed. He was not interested in fitting into preset molds. He was in the throes of a passionate affair with mathematics, an affair that would define his life. While his teachers called him singular and bizarre, Galois was simply falling in love with a world of numbers and equations. His journey had just begun, and it was destined to take him to heights few could even dream of. Mathematics is a language, and Galois was fluent. Evariste Galois, in his brief yet impactful life, embarked on a mathematical journey that would revolutionize the world of numbers, equations, and theories. His work was not just about solving problems, it was about redefining the way we perceive and interpret mathematics. In the early days, Galois found himself immensely drawn toward algebra. He was fascinated by equations and their solutions. This interest led him to explore a question that had plagued mathematicians for centuries. When could a general equation be solved by radicals? This pursuit became the cornerstone of his mathematical journey. A radical solution, for those not in the know, involves operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and taking nth roots, such as square roots or cube roots. For centuries, mathematicians had been able to find radical solutions for equations of degree 2, 3, and 4. But what about equations of a higher degree? Could they also be solved by radicals? Galois was determined to find an answer. Galois' approach was unique. Instead of trying to solve these equations directly, he studied their roots and the relationships between them. He sought to understand the structure of these relationships, the symmetries and patterns they formed. This led him to a groundbreaking discovery, now known as Galois theory. Galois theory is a beautiful fusion of algebra and geometry. It provides a link between the symmetrical properties of the roots of a polynomial equation and a new mathematical structure, which Galois introduced, the abstract algebraic structure now known as a group. In simple terms, a group is a set of elements combined with an operation that combines any two of its elements to form a third. It must satisfy four conditions, closure, associativity, identity, and invertibility. 
The concept of groups became a fundamental building block in modern algebra, and its applications extend far beyond the world of mathematics, touching physics, chemistry, computer science, and more. Galois' work on groups was revolutionary. It was a leap forward in understanding the structure and properties of algebraic equations. His theory answered the long-standing question about radical solutions. It provided a systematic method for determining when an equation could be solved by radicals and when it could not. Galois's journey in mathematics was not a linear path of discovery. It was a tumultuous ride, filled with bouts of intense study, frustration and eureka moments. His work was often misunderstood and overlooked during his lifetime, but it laid the groundwork for future generations of mathematicians to build upon. So, when we say that Galois was fluent in mathematics, it's not just that he understood numbers and equations. He understood their essence, their relationships, their symmetries. He saw patterns and structures where others saw chaos. He brought order and clarity to the complex world of algebra. Galois was not just solving equations, he was reshaping the very foundations of mathematics. In the midst of his groundbreaking work, tragedy struck. Just as Evariste Galois was beginning to reshape the world of mathematics, his life was abruptly cut short in a duel in the year 1832. He was merely 20 years old. Let's take a moment to consider the profound shock of this event. Here was a young man barely out of his teens who had already contributed so much to the field of mathematics. His work on determining when a general equation could be solved by radicals was groundbreaking and his development of early group theory set the stage for future generations of mathematicians. This duel was not a result of a personal quarrel but rather a reflection of the tumultuous political times in which Galois lived. Remember, this was an era of great political upheaval in France, marked by the storming of the Bastille, the execution of Louis XVI, and the reign of Napoleon Bonaparte. Galois' untimely death was a tragic consequence of the turbulent times. The duel that ended his life remains shrouded in mystery. The exact circumstances and the identity of his opponent remain a subject of speculation even today. Despite the loss of his life in such tragic circumstances, Galois' final hours were spent in what he loved doing the most, working on mathematics. It is said that he stayed up the entire night before the duel, furiously scribbling mathematical theories, aware that those could be his last hours. And so, a life full of promise and intellectual brilliance was cut short. Galois' death was not just a loss for his family and friends, but a tremendous loss for the world of mathematics. Who knows how many more groundbreaking theories and solutions he could have developed had he lived longer. A brilliant mind extinguished in its prime, Galois left an indelible mark on mathematics. His work continues to inspire mathematicians today, and his theories still form an integral part of mathematical studies. Despite his short life, his contributions to mathematics are everlasting. Gone but not forgotten, Galois' work lives on. Indeed, Evariste Galois' influence on the world of mathematics is nothing short of extraordinary, considering the brevity of his life. His groundbreaking work, accomplished in the span of just a few years, forms the cornerstone of several major mathematical fields today. Galois' most significant contribution, undeniably, is his development of group theory. This radical concept, which he introduced, is now a fundamental part of modern algebra. It forms the backbone of a multitude of mathematical areas, from number theory to quantum physics, and even plays a significant role in the increasingly important field of cryptography. His revolutionary method of determining when an equation could be solved by radicals, known as Galois theory, is another feather in his cap. This theory has had a profound impact on the field of algebra and helped mathematicians unlock the secrets of equations that had puzzled them for centuries. Moreover, Galois's work has paved the way for the development of mathematical abstraction. His bold ideas dared mathematicians to venture into uncharted territories, to think beyond the conventional and the concrete. His legacy is not just his theories, but the spirit of inquiry and exploration he instilled in the mathematical community. Galois' life may have been cut short, but his ideas continue to inspire and influence. His theories are not merely mathematical constructs, but they have practical applications that shape our everyday lives. From secure online transactions to the functioning of GPS systems, Galois' work has left an indelible mark on the modern world. Indeed, Galois' story is a testament to the power of human intellect and creativity. His life may have been marked by adversity and ended in tragedy, but his legacy is one of enduring brilliance.
He serves as a reminder that even in the face of immense challenges, the human spirit can shine through, illuminating the path for future generations. Though his life was short, Evariste Galois's contribution to mathematics is eternal. His groundbreaking work continues to illuminate the path for mathematicians around the world, underscoring the timeless relevance of his contributions.